Pepperdine men's volleyball starting their 2017 campaign hosting McKendry Wednesday evening at Firestone Fieldhouse. First set, both teams went point for point, exchanging the lead various times early. The Malibu Roofing Company comes alive midway through the set as Michael Wexter and Mitchell Penning tie it at 11 all. Freshman newcomer Noah Dyer gets his first ace of his Pepperdine career to put the Waves ahead 15 to 13. Down the stretch, the Waves would pull ahead with another big block from Penning and Dyer, followed by a Max State's ace. Pepperdine leads 22-18. However, McKendry would make a 6-0 comeback late and take set one from a Wilcox kill 25-23. Second set starting similar, Alex Hartholler with a big block in this play to tie it early 3-3. McKendry would pull away to take an 8-4 lead though, starting set too strong. Josh Stewart makes the save here as Penning puts it away. The Waves still trail 11-8. McKendry continues to dominate the rest of the way to take a set 2 victory, 25-18. Set 3, Waves trying to regroup to force a fourth set. Dave Wysork putting two kills away off the bench to take the 4-3 lead. Penning and Dyer make a huge block to continue to extend the lead 9-5. Kyle Supas makes a block to extend the lead to 14-10. Dyer and Supas make a late block to extend the lead again by 6, 18-12. And Max States comes up huge with an ace down the stretch for the 22-13 lead. And the Waves take the set 25-14 to force a fourth. Fourth set, Supis and Dyer with the block to take the 3-1 lead. Bearcats answer right back later on with their own block, but still trail 12-9. Midway through the set, Penny makes it a 17-12 game. Dyer with a smash hit to make it 23-18. Supis puts the kill away to take the set 25-12 onto the fifth. The Waves lead early 4-2 after a Wexter kill. Penning takes a 9-6 lead after this smash. McKendry's Patterson controlling the block here. Bearcats still trail 12-10. The Waves hold on for the comeback to take the match three sets to two for their first victory of the season. The Waves will look for their second win of the season as they host McMaster Thursday, January 5th at 2 p.m.